first tonight, remembering the life and career of TV legend Mary Tyler Moore. She's best known for her title role in the 1970s hit The Mary Tyler Moore Show, one of the first American situation comedies about a single working woman. Mary Tyler Moore died today, 80 years old. CBS 2's Jessica Layton is in Greenwich, Connecticut tonight, where Moore lived with her husband of 33 years. Jessica. You know, Dana, it's interesting. Very often we go into communities to tell a story, and people are so camera shy, they run the other way. Not today. Today it was the opposite. Today we had people on the street coming up to us, asking to share a memory about Mary Tyler Moore, to tell us what she meant to them. And they all mentioned that signature smile that lit up the screen and their hearts. You might just The iconic image of Mary Tyler Moore tossing her hat into the air was a symbol of empowerment for so many and a memory fans are holding close tonight. I'm just finding out right now that she died this afternoon. I'm, I'm just so sorry. I'm in shock and I loved her show. Mary Tyler Moore show is my favorite. I used to watch it with my parents. It's heartbreaking because we remember her from the old days of the Dick Van Dyke show. Her smile lit up television sets all over America for decades. Her Pride in her role on and off screen was evident. It was the best fun. You just couldn't wait to get to work in the morning, and you sort of hated to go home in the afternoon. Whether remembering her as one of America's favorite housewives of the 60s or the spunky journalist in Minneapolis in the 70s, upon learning she passed away, a sense of sadness came over fans who, like Mary Tyler Moore, call the Greenwich area home. She was uh, great fun to watch. I'm sorry she's gone. The actress, animal lover, and longtime advocate of diabetes research died Tuesday in the company of her husband and friends, according to her rep. And even though she's battled health issues for years, word of the Brooklyn born actress's passing sent shockwaves through Times Square. The sweetness just overflowed with her. She always seemed like she was in charge of her own her own ball game. A gifted figure looked up to by generations of people, one many say paved the way for women everywhere. I think she really represented, you know, the working woman and getting out and getting a job. She showed that uh, women are strong and independent. Single. single. Yeah. She was real. I love that about her. So many fond memories from so many people. Brooklyn born, but most recently calling Greenwich home. Mary Tyler Moore was 80 years old. We're live in Greenwich, Connecticut tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Jessica. So many of us have memories. Her hit TV shows aired right here on CBS. You're looking now at a statement by CBS chairman and CEO Leslie Moonves, who says, Mary Tyler Moore was a once in a generation talent. She will be long remembered as a gifted actress television pioneer, and a role model to so many. CBS has lost one of the very best to ever grace our airwaves, and our industry has lost a true legend and friend.